because I thought actually with Katie here, we would do a makeup which was the freshest makeup I can do so that I can wear black. We're going to use today, I'm giving you the quickest sneak preview. Two new colors which are coming out next. Week off next, Louie? Yeah, week off next. I mean, it's one of them today, and they're to do with lip to cheek. That's all I'm saying. So we're doing a little miracle blur now, mm -hmm. just to take away lip lines. Very sharp. Come on, get it right in there, show them. There we go. I've done a lot of exfoliations today, so my lips might be a bit drier. Okay. And it just diffuses them. And then where you have slightly bigger circles, I mean, bigger pores, you can put them in there. You're doing it just a touch. Yeah. I don't know how many of you use Just A Touch. I'd love to know of the people watching now how many of you actually use our foundation because it is not an unsung hero, but I think that it's very difficult to convey online how amazing yeah. the texture is of Just A Touch and how it just covers things beautifully and blends in so that you're not wearing foundation. One of your New Year's resolutions could be how you can Change your foundation to something which looks like your skin. Maybe wear less base to make your skin look better. But that blendability took two years in our formulation and it just does leave the skin looking so even, but without the heavy texture of many foundations. It's like a really natural finish, like a natural, fresh, glowy finish. Yeah. Um, so it... I think when you use a liquid, it's, it, it doesn't feel as nice either. It's yeah. more like, that's what most women say when they come in. They say, I don't feel like I've got anything on. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what we want nice. them to do. Exactly. Yeah. So which one are you using? Anyway. So this new product, which comes out on the 14th, I'm going to give you a sneak preview of, because I'm so excited about it. <laughs> and I like to tell you first. Um, it's named after the first woman who had faith in me as a businesswoman. And um, her name is Jane, but we called it Lady Jane. And all the product names are actually named after women who either are friends of the brand or friends of mine or people I feel very inspired by, like Oprah. Um, and that's the, you know, I, I like whenever I think of any one of our products, yeah. immediately it springs to mind that woman. So even though my news resolutions see more of my friends, I feel they're always around me because yeah, I'm always saying my name every day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know sometimes how nudes can be too nudey mm. and they wash you out. I always feel that whenever you do a nude, which you're going to use on your lip and cheek, it mustn't be lighter than the natural pigment of your lip. I think that's when women look washed out. You've got to be so careful doing a nude. Yeah. It's so it's different really... from all of our other lip to cheeks as well. I know. Which is what really excites yeah. me being someone. Because on the lip... I love a nude. On the lip, which are we going to put on the lip? Yeah, with a little bit of But on the lip, because we've got Tashi and we've got Eugenie and we've got Sue. So Sue's is our bluest nude, Eugenie is our neutrally one, and Tashi is our warmy apricot nude. So um, this is a little bit like, it's slightly like Tashi Eugenie had a baby, isn't it? It's now, got a bit of an electro vibe as well, which it really has, nice, yes. I love because I That's my favourite. Do you and know some people use an electro version of a lip? Uh, yes, but you know some people use electro with a lip balm on top? Yeah. Some people use schmuggy with a lip balm on top. I love that. I had a woman I a few days ago when I was in India and she said, oh, my favourite lip is schmuggy. And I was like, it's a That's blusher. And she was like, yeah, but I do it with, them. I do it with lip treat. That's a good idea. Yeah. So for those of you who don't want a shiny um, nude, which our lip lux have, have a, yeah. a reflection in them, they're quite, uh, they're quite valuable. This is just more neutral. Mm. Mm, so what do we put lip balm on top? And the thing is, my lips are hydrated. It's just such an easy nude, isn't it? It's really fresh. <gasps> okay, let's clean your eyes. Okay. Um, now let's open up the eyes, because my eyes at the moment are looking very piggy and small. And I want you, Katie, yes. to show me, this is a really good, how many of you feel, I look at a woman always, and I look at the proportion of her face, and I think makeup should be able to reproportion your face. And women either have a totally in proportion face or, like me, they're dominated by their cheeks and their forehead. So I feel my eyes get eaten up and my lips, of course. Some women have a really lovely big eye and they feel their lips are eaten up, so you want to do things. It's all about reproportioning. So when I look at my face now, I think my lips are my lips and they're my lips, but 
big. How could I make my eyes look bigger? I've also, my lashes are nearly fallen off, so we could use some box. Um, <coughs> uh, and I want you to show me how you're going to make my eyes look really big. Okay, first of all, I'm going to use Starlight. Are you? Yeah. Okay, great. Right, I know, I know you're going to do sunlight. Yeah, but I want, yeah, I I want to see what you're going to do. Okay. okay. So this uh, is going to be our light, start. smoky eye. Yeah. All right. But it's going to be making the eye bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a traditional placement eye. Highlight on the cheekbone. Especially if you're wearing a dark colour, it's nice to have a bit of a glow. Yeah. Yeah, I think that we need it more to show reflection on our face when we've got black, because black just yeah, absorbs really. all the, it absorbs all the reflection of your face, so you need to put need extra in, yeah. So, a bit of starlight underneath the eyebrow, yeah. and above the brow bone. You see, I do that too. Shasha doesn't do that. You she not? Do that. No, she doesn't do that. I also, I mean, so if I you want above the a teeny bit above, so if you were to ignore your eyebrows just for a minute, yeah. It's kind of that halo area, just on the sides of the face. Uh -huh. That's a nice bit of a glow as well. So it's kind of continuing the glow under the brow. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes, please. Can I put a little bit? So you're starting with which colour? This is still starlight. With... Okay. Just on the inner corners of your eyes. I mean, I do also love that, because I do in that inner corner starlight with a tiny bit of just a touch. If you've got that very, a lot of women, depending on your oh, shape you of your nose, blue. you get this really dark bit in here. And mixing um, starlight with your just a touch with a tiny brush and going in there. I did on so many women at Break Cross Phoenix yeah. and they just felt, my God, my eyes opened up. And mm. you know that real, oh. some women never get it. Like if you have an Asian face, you get it less because there's less distance between your nose and the inner it's part of like your eyes. It's almost like the skin eye. isn't as thin, so you don't see the yeah. colors underneath. Yeah. So I'm going to do... So okay. that's just slightly open your eyes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a bit of mystery. Okay. So mystery is our new rock and roll shade. We're newish now, but we've yeah. all been using it a lot. It's, we we call it sort of wisdom it. on steroids. Yeah. So it's got a little bit more depth to it than wisdom, and it has shimmer, whereas wisdom is on that shade. But this is probably one of our most popular neutral uh, shades. It's really wearable. It's mm. kind of like wisdom with a glow. Yeah. Okay. A nude glow. So you can a little bit underneath. Yeah, mm -hmm. bow mystery underneath as well. It's incredibly creamy. It's so easy to apply with your fingers. And when we were developing our shades, you got mystery there. Yeah. Um, it was very important that your consistency of pigment, so a lot of less, you know, inexpensive um, eye shades, you'll put on the pigment like that and it will be slightly uneven. And we wanted this blendability and evenness. So when I put it on my finger, like that, it just blends in beautifully and you can play with it and then it slightly sets. People do talk a lot about how little it creases um, in the eye socket and I think that's one of the things that's incredibly popular about it but also most importantly how easy it is to put it on with mm. one finger and so it's, it's super creamy but it's not wet yeah which is really nice mm -hmm. i would normally use that to use my fingers because yeah. i find it quite easy yeah um i'm using a brush so i am kind of lining it as you were with a <coughs> kind of traditional method i'm focusing more on this outer corner here um outer line Bring it in. I'm not. I don't want to close off the eyes, so I'm not coming. Bring the darkness too far in the inner corner. Probably from about halfway out, and then bring it up. So it's kind of giving that illusion of like lifting the eye. So we're bringing it up a little bit, and then with my finger, I'm just patting it in. Because they're creams and they're so blendable, they do just kind of merge into each other really nicely. Um, so it's kind of. So when Trini has her eyes open, you should just see the illusion of lifting. So the darkness, the darker colour is kind of emphasising the outer corner. I don't know if you can see You're that. very closely, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look that close, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to, because we're doing a little bit of a soft smoky, we've done the nude, the mystery, with, yeah. the, with the glow, and then face, as you can see, doesn't have any shimmer. So it's a bit, we're doing a bit of a contrast, so that adds a little bit more depth. I think what's interesting as well is, 
depending on your eye shape. So if you have an almond shape eye, it would naturally go up. It naturally my, goes up. My eyes have a tendency to go down. So Katie is doing the, 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 sh the sort of shading in a way to lift my eyes yeah. up. It creates and, a bit more of an illusion. Yeah, and not to have the shading too much down here because that would drag them down again. So exactly. you're focusing on this area. Yeah, yeah, keeping everything kind of more contained, a little bit further up. Um, and we're going to do a tiny bit underneath as well. But if you look up to the ceiling, I tend to just like to do it just on that outer edge, like a couple of millimetres, not very much, just to hug the outer maybe three, four lashes. Because then it's, it kind of finish, rounds off the look, but doesn't yeah. make it too intense. It's yeah. not too much. But people are going to put mascara on as well. Yeah. And the mascara is so super inky, luscious, long, black. What mascara there. is that, Katie? Oh, it's the, it's the treatment mascara. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've got it on as well. I really like it. Okay. Oh. That's it. So, what are we going to add in? A little bit of um, face finish. Yeah, we're going to do, do that. Face, yeah, do that gonna, no, you can do it whenever. Do you see I'm a bit shiny here, mm -hmm. and I'm a bit shiny here, and I'm a little bit shiny here. We like that shine there. So the first like thing the is to get rid of the shine where I don't want it, which is sort of around here and under my eye, yep. maybe on my chin. So taking face finish. Do you do brush or do you do fingers? Depends on the person. Okay. Why do you decide to do fingers with me? Because I feel like. I know your fingers. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah. more because with some people, depending on their skin type, yeah. I think if you're oilier, you do a brush. brush. Yeah, I agree with you. Better yes, because it doesn't. Otherwise, you take might off. Take off. You want to. You don't want to be taking off what you put on. Yeah. Whereas you're not oily, so yeah. you can get. It. So it's very subtle face finish because I think we always want to feel at the end of a Trini London experience that you don't cover yourself in a powder which takes away that whole All the glowing work skin. Gone. Yeah. So this just absorbs the over shininess of your skin, but it still allows your face to have a glow. This is a nice new look. Yeah. I'm happy with this new look. Good. Mm. Just, uh... So I've still got a few little lashes on, but not so many. Yeah, not many. Mm. All right, we are done. We're done. Lip and cheek, mm -hmm. we use mm -hmm. Lady J. Okay. On the eyes, we've got a little bit of mystery all over the lid, and then it's going to smudgy smoking inside the lashes. That's it, ladies. Thanks for watching. Katie Downing, thank you. Pleasure. See you soon. Bye. Bye.